dance activism is one way for me to feel free and feel light. Also, it's one way for me to share that message of freedom and lightness with everyone. That's the activism part. When I first began dancing, I noticed that I felt very light and very free, and I liked it a lot. Another drive is to help other people become free. I want to tell people that they can be free and that they actually already are free. For me, it's through dancing that I reach that feeling of lightness, that feeling of freedom. For others, it may be through any other activity, whatever they love doing. That's what will give them their wings. activism is in no way shape or form political it's not a resistance movement I have worked with other groups of people in the past in Windsor there was the Ojibwe protest and yes I showed up to support because that cause was so much in line with my environmental vision I liked going there and uh, showing support for like-minded individuals and I liked going there and dancing and improving the morale of those people. On its own, dance activism protests nothing and actually I feel that if I were to be protesting and resisting it would not bring about the desired state of consciousness, which is relief and freedom. Neymiş? Raça Prapa. <gülüyor> Raça Prapa. Yeah. It is a bit of both. The dance part is definitely art for art's sake. The activism part is definitely art for the people. Dancing on its own does represent an art to me and I am creating out of movements. That's my material being art for art. Yes, it definitely is. I feel that if art is done for art's sake, then it's just more pure and lighter and closer to home. On the other hand, it does have a message for people, so it is art for the people. That's where the activism comes into play. I could easily be dancing in my bedroom and still have the same amount of fun, but because I want to share that with people, the activism part, dancing on the streets, dancing publicly, helps me bring this message to the people.
Describe mathematical, formulaic with choreography, yes, definitely, especially if you're watching a ballet. However, my own dance is very much a freestyle, and though I can enjoy the ballet, I can enjoy doing a choreography once in a while. Usually, I'm not worried about any kind of choreography, I'm listening to the music within. A lot of times, I'm dancing with no music, and I, I feel that my dance activism is very similar. That it's genre list that it's not fitting into anything which is very characteristic of me i don't really fit in i like that <laughs> dance activism is not religious in any way but it is very spiritual when I first began to dance I was actually at the same time looking for a way of connecting with spirit and I actually was looking to religion but after two months of simultaneously dancing and learning how to pray I stopped trying to learn how to pray I decided that my efforts towards religion were actually leaving me feeling more doubtful and confused. And whereas I felt out of the vortex, out of my zone with religion, it was the opposite with dancing. I felt very much in tune with myself and with the world around me. I felt very sharp and sharpened and I felt that my body was my temple and I didn't need to go to some building to connect with supernatural, with spirit. I could just connect right where I am, just by dancing.
Yes, these are things that I really like about Thailand. It's very happy, it's very relaxed. I enjoy dancing here. I'm learning to be more relaxed. I'm learning to be happier here. And I'm learning to see stress as uh, insignificant and actually unnecessary. In Windsor and North America in general, I was always aware that some people would not connect with the dance activism. These people would sometimes make rude comments as they walked by. Oppositely to that, here in Thailand, I've never experienced anything like that. People either have something to contribute, either they want to appreciate it and tell me that it's nice, or they just want to ask me how I'm doing, or just say hello, or just sit there and watch. But no one will ever make any rude comments, which is great. I really like that about the people here and the attitudes here are outstanding that way. It's very sabai sabai here. This is an attitude that people have here since childhood to old age. Sabai sabai, just taking it easy, being relaxed and in that ease. Nobody really has any energy to put something negative down especially for something like dance. Nobody really has any judgments. If they don't like it, if they don't connect with it, it's not a problem. They just don't have to say anything. They just continue on. But if they do like it, then they can show it in some way or they don't even have to show it. They can just keep it to themselves. This is something I'd like to see for my friends and family back home in North America. But just for everyone in general, we have something to learn from this live and let live attitude.